Now let's see a situation of normal profit for the firm operating under perfect competition. Now again we have to see two things. The first thing is MC should be equal to MR. MC should be equal to MR. Let me draw the MR curve for you again. So this is my MC curve. So where do you think will be the equilibrium? This condition will give me the point of equilibrium. So where do you think is the equilibrium? Correct. The equilibrium is at this point because MR and MC are equal at this point. So let me name this point as E. So ON is the equilibrium quantity that the seller has to produce and sell in the market. Now the second condition which comes from profit equals to revenue minus cost. So the second condition is profit would be in a situation where average revenue is more than my average cost. In that condition I will have profit. But in this case we are talking about normal profits. So the condition here is AR is equal to ATC at the point of equilibrium where MC equals to MR AR should be equal to ATC. So let me draw an ATC for you. This is ATC. Now you can see that average total revenue and average total cost are equal again at the point E. So point E as I said is the point of equilibrium. It is also the point wherein my AR is equal to ATC. Thus when revenues equal the cost you will have a situation of no profit and no loss. No profit, no loss and this situation is called as normal profit situation. This is a case of normal profit situation. You can see that your revenue is equal to cost. So there will be no super normal profits that you will be earning. You will only be recurring or recovering your salary that you would have earned if you would have somewhere, uh, if you would have uh, worked somewhere else. The interest that you would have earned if you would have invested your amount somewhere else, your capital somewhere else. The rent that you would have earned if you would have not done your own business but would have given it for rent. And also the profit for the risk that you are taking. Because ATC includes both. Implicit plus explicit costs. So it includes both implicit as well as explicit cost. Explicit cost is the cost that you are actually incurring, the tangible cost, the expenses that you are making. Implicit cost is these factor revenues, that is, revenue for land, labor, capital, and enterprise. So at the point E, you are just barely recovering all this. So it is a situation of normal profits. You are able to earn 
the normal profits for your risk taking. Thus your AR and ATC are equal at this point, yet there are no super normal profits. You will earn only normal profits. So when AR is equal to ATC, you earn normal profits. Okay. So now I will be bringing up a graph which will show you the normal profits. So this is a graph which gives you normal profits. It's a normal profit situation for a firm which is operating in the perfect competition. You can see there is an MC curve. Again, there is this MR curve. So they are meeting at this point E. This becomes my equilibrium point. So I'll be producing OQ number of units. And now the second condition is AR should be equal to ATC. And this is my ATC curve. And you can see that AR is equal to ATC again at the point E. And at this point, this is my total revenue and this is my total cost. EQ is my total revenue and EQ is my total cost. So where my total revenue equals my total cost, you have a situation of normal profits. Okay.